Hi guys, and welcome back to our latest pro tutorial, our behind the scenes of Instagrammer number two. Yeah, so for this project, our idea was again to showcase a really cool looking Instagrammer. But not only that, also an Instagrammer who's physically out there and taking shots every day of urban stuff, city stuff, whatever. Just a very active Instagrammer. And we found Tobin, he's a South African Instagrammer and takes really cool shots of everything. So I decided to go with Tobin, he also has a pretty cool style and he's kind of the right person to do this project. The idea was to actually have him running through, walking through a very dark alley and taking a selfie of himself while he's walking through this dodgy area. So that was our main idea, we planned everything around that and then on the day physically we came to our location and it started raining. So again, instantly I had to turn around everything, decided to go away from the alley and literally shoot under a little, there was like a shop around the corner who had like a little deck so we could shoot right under there. So again, changing ideas around. First of all, shooting the subject just right on the street and then as well later shoot again separate plates for a background, creating a background in Photoshop. Then the idea became, all right, let's take the subject, have shoot him on the street shoot the background separately and in Photoshop we combine all together. First of all the background, then the subject and as well the phone with obviously hats. So again, ideas changed around all the way. Lightning wise this time we worked again with just our two Allen Chrome Quadra Rangers, the little handy ones, quick and easy to work with on locations. Again, we used first of all just the normal strobe with a bit of diffusing material which is basically that plastic lid. We bounced that into a wall giving the subject a really nice soft rim light. The other light to give also some key light and main light we used again the beauty dish with a little bit of honeycomb in there boosting some really nice light from the front. More about that in our light talk or on the pro tutorial also get a whole session just about the complete lightning. Now as well, for the whole shooting we used basically once the light setup for the subject and then as well we used the same light setup for the phone and the hand. We just turned the lights a little bit around but it's still pretty much the same way as bouncing the first light again into wall and having the beauty dish also lightening the hand from the front. Camera settings wise again I also used f10 to everything nice and sharp and also to have a decent exposure with my flashes. As well 1 over 1 60th of a second, first of all so everything is nice and sharp and also compensating for the shutter curtain Yeah, and working again with the two strokes. Then also used an ISO over 1 25th, so boosting the highlights just a little bit, so giving that nice pop in there and then as well also worked with 24 to 70. Now as well I used both of these settings again for the hand and also for the phone shot and also for the different two background shots I used actually different exposures. These weren't too important, those are mostly important that you have just throughout a very sharp image and a decent exposure. Props and outfit this time again, for me very important, first of all having the Instagrammer, then as well also having an iPhone 5, white and black, and then obviously a little bit more detail on the subject itself. Which brings us right to the outfit, first of all having maybe just one or two different caps so they actually change the variety in color on your whole composition and your whole shot. Then as well having a nice reflective jacket, maybe a dark and a white or a brighter one as well like a shirt, also a white and a dark one, so we can change again between the varieties between jacket and shirt. Yeah, and then also maybe some little small details like headphones, necklace, or maybe rings. And he had some nice headphones, actually simple ones, and also just some normal rings on there again. So when he's walking through the whole dodgy alley, he's taking a selfie of him, listening to music, and also holding his jacket with the rings. You kind of have a lot of detail going on in your overall image. So that's obviously just the shooting part. Then in Photoshop again, comping all of that together. First of all, building again the background, 
cutting out the subject, bringing that on top of to the background, first of all then again doing the light control and building the whole base plate that we actually wanted to get right in camera. Then after that adding again the fern, also cutting that out, merging that on top, adding again light control, color grading and all the extra adjustments to bring the whole image to one final plate where it kind of looks like he's walking through a dodgy alley taking a selfie of himself. For some tips this time again, first of all check your locations before so you really know what you're getting. Then as well also check the weather before so if it's going to be rainy or sunshine, what's ever going to happen with the weather. Then as well also equipment wise, take again with a few stands, some extra sandbags in case it's windy or maybe even another assistant to help you out with all the strobes. Also time management, plan your time management so you already know that an hour is going to take me this, an hour is going to take me that so you're not running out of time on the complete shooting. Then as well safety and permits also, have a look that you're in a safe area and that you've got a permit for the street or while shooting there. Now also that you've planned the whole thing and doing it on the street and you already know you may be doing it outside, you know you're doing different background plates, why don't take your whole project into studio and actually book a studio, which will make your life a little bit easier. It was a bit complicated for us because we decided to go outside, but it rained, so we had to do it still somehow with a plan B. So yeah guys, that's all for the behind the scenes of our latest pro tutorial, Instagram number two. You can also find this pro tutorial on our new website at retardpro.com. If it's not up yet, the site, subscribe to our newsletter. We should be launching in around a week or even shorter. Yeah, so also if you have any questions about this, comments, thoughts, post them down below in the comment box. I'm happy to interact with you and give you guys some feedback. Yeah, thanks again for watching. Also subscribe, like, share with your friends and I'll see you guys all on Friday for the new light talk about this project. Thanks guys, bye bye.